We're here in the US's biggest pedophile colony, Miracle Village, also referred to as the City of Refuge. It has a population of 200 people, all registered sex offenders. Let's go check it out. So we're just going to walk around the neighborhood and see what it's like here. I mean, I'll say this, if I didn't know what it was, it was a very quaint neighborhood. Like, it's, it, it's very unassuming. Yeah. I don't know if this is some sort of joke or something, but they have this here. <laughs> like, I hope there's not children here. I did read online that it's sex offenders and their families, but I assume that meant families over the age of, you know, 18. Obviously, ideally, we, we want to talk to somebody who lives here and get their perspective. See, see what this place is really all about and the culture that is here. It's very much out of the way. It's in the middle of nowhere. They're all outside. You saw that one was there, one's there, one's there. One was walking back there. Yeah. Hi, do you, do you mind doing an interview with us? I can hear you. Would you mind doing an interview with us? An interview? What kind of interview? Just to ask like about this place, kind of in general. Like, I, I think there's a, uh, like, I don't know if it was you Vice. You for the people that, that took over this place? The people who live here? No, the people that took over this place. Took over this place? Yeah. Oh, we get your real call. Okay. <laughs> No, yeah, we, no, we want to hear exactly what... Can we come in? Come over here? Yeah. You do? Sure, I'll take a beer. I know Junior would like a beer. Yeah, I'll drink. Thank you. You're welcome. So, how long have you lived in this neighborhood? Four years. A little over. A little over four years? Yeah. A lot of shit's got to change here. It's got to change or... It has changed. No, it's got that. It's got to change. Do you mind if you're on video? No? I'm going to do this anyway. Yeah, we are yeah. too. I just turned 63. Turn and 60. I have no... I have no stops. I say what I want to. I tell them to do them too. Can you care. tell us the, about the people who live here? Most of them sex offenders. And but you're not one? Yeah. You are one or not one? I am. Okay. But it's okay. We got Jamaicans in. Old cane cutters. Yeah. Y'all are young. I don't know if you know about cane cutters. Back in the day. Back in the 70s, 80s. Early 90s. Mr. Man Spice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he's an old cane cutter. Uh-huh. We get along great. I get along good with everybody, but I stayed myself. I don't deal with people. Everything's good here, but there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done here. Like what? Water situation. You guys don't have water? Yeah, we have water, but the old water plant up here is not good. Oh, they don't have filtration on it? It's not clean yeah, water? It, now it's got to where we got to get membranes and all that shit. My water's yellow. Oh. Yeah. Used to be, it was, it stank right here. Do you rent these properties or do you buy, or do you own this? No. Rent it. You rent it? How much is there? I mean, if you want to say, if you don't want to say, that's okay. There's two of us in it. It's five seventy-five a month per room. Oh wow, per room. Yeah, per room. Now they fix the jacket up again, and those seventy-five dollars. I think December or January, the jacket up another seventy-five dollars. They doing that? Just, what the hell? So a lot of people want to move in here. People are moving out. How much? How do people around here usually get income? We all work. Most of us work. Some of us are retired. Okay. Some of them are retired, but I'm not. I'm at 60, I just turned 63, and I'm still working. 
Is it generally harder for people who live here to get work in the local communities or? No. No? All they gotta do is get out there. Being a sex offender doesn't, like, not a problem for people? You said, no. all, you said all they gotta do, is there a lot of people who refuse to go find work or? Yeah. So they're just sitting around doing jack shit or? Jack shit. They just gotta go, I need some help. Well, get a job. I ain't got time for you. I saw a sign that said, like, slow down children at play. Yeah, are there's there children? children out here. Oh, there are? Yeah. You got, you got, there's uh, two different types of sex offenders. You have predators. Not good. Like mine, I'm, I'm the way ladder side. Because I can go anywhere I want. Are there predators in this neighborhood? Hell yeah. And I'm very... I can't say prejudice, but I don't. Well, I have a two-year-old, so I'm pretty prejudiced. I've got... Nieces and nephews here love me to death. Mm -hmm. Come on, you don't touch them. No, yeah, definitely not. I kid your ass, I don't care. Yeah. And, you know, but I, I, I know a few of the predators around here. They can come over here. Hey, you want to drink beer? No. Do you think any of them would talk to us? Doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it too. What, would you be, like, willing to talk a little bit more about your specifics of your case? Like, I, I, obviously I'm not asking, like, names or anything, but, like, what would the general idea of what you were like charged with was? Lewd and lascivious. Lewd and lascivious. So na yeah. naked? You were just naked or something? Yeah. Drunk. And then a couple of waves and that's what happened. But you didn't you didn't hurt anybody, you didn't touch anybody? No. no? You were just drunk you were just drunk and naked in public? Like near a school or something? I was in a house. And I lived in the woods. I had friends over. Okay. Well, we all got naked anyway. But yeah, that's what it was. Right? Mm -hmm. Living the savings. Do they have like an appeals thing to revisit stuff like that? <coughs> I don't know. I do not know. How long were you in for? Another three, another three, 11 years. 11 years? All, not off one thing though, just... No, because oh, yeah. I, I fa two failed to register. I was working. And for you forget about it. Mm -hmm. Take that screw up and make a positive. Yep. Do you I think mean, that's what this place is all about? That's what they say. Are there ever any arrests in here? There's been a couple. Of pedophilia? Like yeah. people. You think the majority of the people who end up living in here who are predators or chi like child molesters, you know, do you think a lot of them relapse or do you think a lot of them are probably hiding like child porn and stuff on their... their... I don't think so. I can see my phone's right there. You, I don't know if you know about the phones. You probably do. No, I'm, not, I'm not technologically savvy. That's his thing. No. I can put you on my phone. You see my phone. I don't give a shit. No, yeah. I, when, when... See, I am straightforward. That's the way I am. I can't. I'm not going to hide shit. I'm straightforward. You said your water is yellow? Yeah. You want to show us? Like you took a piss in it. Yeah, I wouldn't drink that. No. I don't. That's why I keep bottled water. I make my coffee. No matter how much you flush, it always looks like you took a piss. Yeah. Yeah. It was really nice. These are our rooms. It's $500. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred seventy-five for one room. Yeah. Here's the Miracle Village Church. This community was actually started by a pastor who claimed to want to change the way people act. 
obviously that dream has fallen short, fell through by the admission of that gentleman that he thinks people still watch porn and he said people still get arrested for relapsing. Before we talked to that old man, there were people out. On the one street, there were four people outside, but now every street we walk down is completely empty. So it definitely feels like they put the word out that we're out here looking to interview people and they're all shut in now. Yeah, it was, there was people moving about. There's everybody had, everybody was out on their porches. There's cars moving around, but now it is a total ghost town. All the doors shut, no cars moving. It is dead. It's weird how that happens, huh? They see the camera and they ran away. Like rats. The area that this pedophile village is in is actually the sugar capital of the United States near Belle Glade. And literally directly against the border of pedophile town is um, Kane. Sugar Kane. Eat smell sweet. There's a lot of like mice and stuff in there. It's weird. Excuse me, sir. Would you do an interview with us? What kind of interview? About the neighborhood. I'm, I'm not You're not? No. Could we? That, yeah, we'd rather talk to you anyways. I'd talk to a non-sex offender. I'm your sugar man. You're, you're a sugar, sugar man? Cane? Yeah. Oh, you're Jamaican? Yeah. Can we can we talk to you about what it's like living here? Uh, me, I know nothing about the people. Then. Only what kind of fruit is this? Hockey. Hockey? Yeah. How many sugar men live here? About 10 or 20. About 20? About, call it about that. And they're all sugar men that, work in the, that used to work in the sugar fields? Yeah. And none of them are pedophiles? Uh-uh, they're not, them there's not sex up in there. But they have to live here? We, we, who, we, we used to work with sugar company. You were here first? And they put me here. And they put the sex offenders here? Yeah, they carry them. Then they have no way to put them to then carry them come here. Mm. That must be bad. Mm -hmm. Do you have any like um like grandkids and stuff? Do you feel weird having grandkids come visit you here? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Alright. All right. Thank you. Thanks. They showed that. Oh wow. Uh, jackfruit. Yeah, jackfruit. Jack that's really cool. That's this cheap. is really cool. Yeah, that's where you transplanted it onto this tree? We plant, we plant the seed. Oh, this is a, the, okay. So this is one tree. Oh uh, yeah, that's a jack jackfruit tree. That's amazing. And a tree. That's really cool. And mango. And mango. And mango there. Oh, the mango. next one's mango. Oh, you got a lot. Thank mango. you. Yeah, I appreciate it. So it appears there are two different communities in this community. First were the sugarcane workers from Jamaica who predated the sex offenders, and I guess. The sugarcane workers just got stuck with the sex sex offenders, unfortunately. I can't imagine that. The the men we just talked to seemed very nice, and he had a wonderful garden. Yeah. Do you mind doing an interview? Would you do an interview with us? Nah. No. No. want to know what kind of people live here. All kinds of people live here. People mind their own business kind of people. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I'd say we finally found a predator. Yeah. Would either of y'all mind doing an interview with us? On what? We just want to get you some information about the neighborhood. Nope. No? Nope. Would you? Who are you? Who are you? YouTube. Just Life. Just for YouTube. YouTube. What's, what channel? Just Life. Huh? Just, just life. life. No? No, I'll pass. I work here, so I can't. Oh, you uh, work here? Yeah. You both work here? No, I don't work here. We just heard it was a very interesting neighborhood. In like what way? Some interesting people in here. Oh, well, if you're talking about sex vendors, yeah. Yeah, we just want to <laughs> We just want yeah, to see what the that's... culture of the neighborhood is like. It's like any other neighborhood. Are there ever any incidents here? No. Nope. No? Nope. Okay. You, you know. We, we don't have any crime here, to be honest with you. Are there ever any arrests in here? There's been a couple. 
Yeah, we are, my bicycle stays out all night long. What I'm talking about is another person that we talked to said that on occasion the police have to come because they find somebody has child pornography or an incident where you know somebody molests a child happens. Well, they have some banned thing like that in years. I've never heard of coming well, out here for pornography. Yeah, I know. I have never heard that. Now, they, they might come out because somebody's violated, but um, if it's for pornography, that's a whole new charge. Yeah. Um, and they so, would know, there's no way they would know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, people get caught for it. I don't know. Well, yeah, not, but not if, you're, if you're a sex offender, the last thing you want to do is get caught for another charge, especially now. You know, uh, they are trying to stick us in the deepest hole that they can find. And I don't know this, but some guys get set up on the internet on child porn. Mm -hmm. There are police stings where the guys weren't looking for it, it just pops up. They look at it, the next thing you know, you got a cop that you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and they're charging you with child porn. You know? And that kind of crap goes on all the time. There's so much that, that people don't realize. Mm -hmm. Like, the reason a lot of us are out here is because we can't live anywhere else. Do you think there's uh, trouble for people that live out here finding work in the local community? Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I, I, I looked for five years and couldn't find work. Because, of, uh, I mean... Is the stigma with the location or is it with the no, actual it's offense? With, it's with your... Um, it's with because you. You, can't get past, you can't get past the, the crime. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't care where you live. Um, it, it, you know, you could be a... a upright citizen and live out here because it's cheap. Uh, of course, that's going to change. Like the sugarcane workers, like we, we noticed there's some sugarcane workers that live yeah, out they here. Have, they, they're allowed to live out here rent-free forever. Oh, that's why they're still here. That's why they're still here. Yeah. Right. Anytime you say sex offender in a group, they, they separate and they ask you to leave. Yeah. It's such a stigma. Yeah. And it could be for something small, you know? You don't know. Really that's what I'm saying. If you get caught with the wrong a piss on a sidewalk, or you know, if you expose yourself, is you're a sex offender. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. If you get caught taking a piss, you. Yeah. They they can charge you with a sex crime. And oh, yeah. one registry. When I got arrested and got sentenced, I got sentenced to a life. I got a life sentence. Mm -hmm. Not because of, in prison, but I have lifetime supervision. I'm on probation forever, mm -hmm. and I'm. I'm going on 68 years old. I can't leave the county. Yeah, he can't. I, I got a certain no, area. I can go in from. Fort yeah, see, he's state and I'm federal. Two hmm. different. You can't even leave the county? No, not without permission. How, do, how does it change between state and federal? Is that be, the location it happens at? No, no, it depends on um, the, the feds pick and choose what cases they want to take. They just randomly? No, uh, no, they, they take whatever they know they've got a slam dunk on. That's why their, their uh, conviction rate is 98%. Hmm. Like, um, the state kept his, but the feds picked mine up because they had it in black and white. You know, I mean, uh, there were pictures and videos. I, I, I couldn't deny that. Um, but he can't leave the county. I can go from Highlands County to uh, Indian River County to Monroe County. To Key West, yeah. To Key West, yeah. I have this whole area I can roam mm -hmm. without any of this permission. Hmm. I am. I have a curfew. You don't? Yeah. For oh, the rest of your attack. life? Huh? For the rest of your life? Until, as long as he's on probation. Yeah. Well, 30 years. 30 years probation? Yeah. Well, what's your curfew? 10 to 6. 10 at night to 6 in the morning. They don't have one. Oh, we don't have, yeah, we don't have one. And a lot of the state guys have to wear the ankle bracelet. So, does the church provide like food for you guys? I don't know about the church. I had nothing to do with it. Okay. Who, then how, do, how does food come about for the people we, with no? We have a there's, there's a food bank in Pahokee. And it gives out free. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's not a lot. It used to be a lot more than it is now, but with inflation and everything. Yeah. Food um, banks are drying up. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's really really slacked off. We do our best to find you a job, help you get a job. Mm -hmm. This is a stepping off point. You're supposed to come out here, stay six months. Hopefully by then you got your feet on the ground and you, you can yeah. move on. Go. There's nowhere to go. Mm -mm. Your own family turns on you. You know, sometimes it's warranted, it's deserved, but yeah. you know, it's, it's a, a lot of times it ain't. Um, my mom and dad have been real good with me, but um, my sister and my brother-in-law especially, they both had a hard time dealing with it. Because they had two girls and a, and a, a boy that was at the prime age 
that I'll let people get pictures of. People who assaulted their own family? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm sure yeah, there sure. is. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Do you think because of the combination of people not wanting to hire you and then like not not so much familial support and stuff like that that a lot of people who get out of the sex offender like um get out from prison on the sex offender registry end up like homeless basically just oh yeah oh, out. yeah, oh, yeah. big time here oh yeah i was homeless for a while and okay. is there still a, like a waiting list for people again like there's more people wanting in than can mm -hmm. be housed okay yep um i don't know how long the list is um let me ask you, answer your question. Why don't they build more? These were built for migrant workers. Yeah. And automation has eliminated the use of migrant workers. So the sugar companies started renting them out, and then they ended up selling to a couple of different people over the years. Yeah. And no, they will never build these again. Well, you saw what we saw here in Miracle Village. It's, it's there was something. A lot, there's a lot to unpack here, so I hope you learned as much as we did. Tell us in the comments what you think. Thank you.